So now that I got your attention, let me show what uh, I'm gonna use this little thing for. So I've got this motorcycle wheel, and what happens with these mag wheels is where the bearing goes right here, they get worn out, and then your bearing loses its crush and it starts flopping around. In the end, you know, your mag wheel's no good. So one of the repairs we have is we'll bore this out, we'll make a sleeve, we'll press a sleeve in there, and then we'll press this in here, and that gives us the correct crush we need, and then wheel is reusable. And so I got that clamped down to my milling machine table. I'm able to run a dial around there and get that thing running concentric with my spindle. Once I got that running concentric, I'm able to come over here, zero out my readout, remove my dial indicator. So I can grab the wheel. I can slide it on. And it's probably gonna be pretty damn close. So now I can come in here with a dial indicator and just by sitting it on there with no shims or clamps, that setup was, you know, relatively close. We're within the 20 thousandths range. And with a bunch of well-placed jack screws, I was able to get this thing dialed in within a thou. And with everything all set up, I was able to come in here and pour the hub out. So the boring op went good and I got my housing opened up about 80 thousandths larger than the bearing OD. Now my choice of material for these repair sleeves is going to be 4140 and this is a chunk of an old arbor that we replaced in a previous machine we built and this has really good machinability and wear and weather resistance so I thought that it would uh, make a good material for this sleeve. And there we go. We have one repair sleeve. Well, here's our beautiful little sleeve, but uh, we're gonna have to make some sort of an install tool now. I just grabbed this random chunk of uh, old machine tooling that uh, I mean I just got this thing out of the scrap bin to use as for whatever so this thing had like quite a tapered cone piece here and I mean it wasn't really totally useful for a whole lot so it, uh, it's gonna work great for this uh, sleeve installing tool here so I put a, a couple of steps in here this should fit inside the new sleeve and this should be just a little smaller than the OD and that should just uh, fit nice in there and this isn't actually a whole big piece I'm gonna be able to use this whole piece I don't need to part this off you never know this might turn into something else one day so we'll just leave it on there it'll work out now I'm gonna uh, put a little bit of sleeve retaining compound in here and I'm gonna go ahead and press this in now, this is just a thin sleeve this should be Easy to tap in, even with the amount of press I put on there. Oh yeah. And then we just... And just like that, we got our little repair sleeve in there. I made it so it's just recessed under this face a little bit, trying to catch the bottom of this original chamfer. Looks like I got it pretty good. Right on. All right, so with that sleeve in here, just take a quick measurement. Make sure my number's worked out. That's exactly what I was after. 
So now that I got that fitting in there, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop that bearing out that's on the other side I used to locate on the bridge port. And I'm gonna press that in here. And that way I can flip this over and use that to locate on the bridge port again. And we can do this same process all over one more time. So I'm gonna get onto it. All right, so I got the first repair sleeve and bearing installed. I had a good feel of crush going in. I think that's gonna work just fine. And I'm able to get this uh, back up on the milling machine and we're gonna do the other side now. setup already uh, pre-established that one went quite a bit quicker um, one thing did change on this side though is uh, there is an offset in the wheel so all my little screw jacks I, I just had to go and I had to get an inch longer bolt and I just put a one two three block under my uh, screw jacks on the the ends here just like so I got this all bored out to the, the size I want and now I'm gonna head over to the small lathe and start making my sleeve. All right, so that went in nice, it looks good. I'm gonna go pop out this bearing now. Well, there we go. There's one repair sleeve in. And there's our other repair sleeve in. Now I pressed in that bearing onto the one side and I liked the way it felt when it pressed in. And when I went back and knocked it out, I was happy with the results when I was knocking it out as well. And it didn't make our sleeve move at all. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be a successful repair and I can get a hold of this guy and he can come pick his wheel up. And well, not only do I got a lot of work to do, but I made a pretty big mess working on this. So I'm gonna go uh, work on either one of those two. So thanks for tuning in everyone and I'll catch you later. Uh -huh.